Palm Springs ground, November 7241, Romeo, requesting VFR departure to the north with information Charlie. Centurion 7241 Romeo, Palm Springs ground, runway 31 left, taxi via Echo, Bravo, hold short, runway 31 right. Taxi to runway 31 left via Echo, Bravo, Centurion 7241 Romeo. Centurion 7241 Romeo, negative, I need you to hold short of runway 31 right. Taxi to runway 31 left via Echo, Bravo, hold short, runway 31 right. Taxi to runway 31 left via Echo, Bravo, hold short. Runway 31 right, Centurion 7241 Romeo. Centurion 7241 Romeo, read back correct. Centurion 7241 Romeo, monitor tower 119.7. Monitoring tower, Centurion 7241 Romeo. Cherokee 6 Gulf Juliet, Palm Springs Tower, wind calm, runway 31 right, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 31 right, Cherokee 6 Golf Juliet. Six Golf Juliet, go around. Cherokee 6 Golf Juliet, go around. Going around, Cherokee 6 Golf Juliet. Centurion 7241 Romeo, hold your position. Possible pilot deviation. Advise when you're ready to copy a phone number. The pilot just crossed the hold short line, causing a runway incursion that required an approaching aircraft to be sent around. Let's take a moment to explore some of the human factors that played into this scenario. Human factors are a real and often overlooked component in the safe operation of any aircraft. Understanding the basics of some of these human factors, as well as appropriate mitigation techniques, can keep flying more efficient and, above all, safe. When facing a number of tasks that must be accomplished, multitasking may seem like the efficient and faster way to accomplish all of them, as opposed to doing one at a time. However, this is not true, and in fact, multitasking itself is a myth. The human brain can only consciously work on one thing at a time. Although it may seem that many tasks can be simultaneously accomplished, in reality, each one is being completed one at a time, switching back and forth between the tasks. This is not only less efficient, but it also brings an increased risk of missing something in one or more of the tasks. In essence, switching between each task acts as a mental hurdle to effectively complete any of the individual tasks. What can you do to prevent this from happening to you? When given a clearance, it is imperative that pilots accurately hear and understand what is being said. In the case of a taxi clearance, the use of the respective airport diagram can serve as a good visual reference. Ensure phones are turned off or in airplane mode to prevent needless distraction. Our ability to attend to or perceive and understand the world around us is not limitless. Our attention is one of these limited mental resources and can be thought of as money in a bank account. We must choose wisely when and where to spend it. Distractions can present pilots with the challenge of choosing how to divide this precious attentional bank between essential and non-essential tasks. In the beginning of this scenario, the pilot chose to pay attention to the text message conversation, diverting his attention from the air traffic control clearance being issued. The controller caught the error and ensured that the pilot heard and read his clearance back correctly. However, because the pilot switched his attention back and forth between the text messages and the clearance, the pilot's brain did not fully capture the instructions. The pilot attempted to accomplish a run-up while he was taxiing for departure. Focusing on the run-up while simultaneously trying to focus on taxiing the aircraft means the pilot's attention to detail was reduced, leading to the late recognition of Taxiway Bravo and reduced taxi awareness. In this case, as opposed to rushing the run-up while trying to juggle taxiing and navigating the field all at once, the pilot should have conducted the run-up in a focused, deliberate manner when the aircraft stopped in the run-up area. Approaching the hold short line, the pilot's attention was diverted by a text message. By attempting to read a text message, respond to it, and taxi the aircraft, his attention was degraded from the primary task of taxiing the aircraft, and he missed several indicators that he was about to enter a runway. 
Enhanced Taxiway Center Line The dashed lines on both sides of the taxiway center line indicate that a runway hold short location is coming up. Other visual aids in this situation include a runway holding position sign, surface painted holding position signs, elevated runway guard lights, sometimes called wigwag lights, and a runway holding position marking, commonly called a hold short line. What other activities can you think of that may lead to distraction when trying to conduct them simultaneously during your taxi operation? It is important to understand that no amount of practice can eliminate multitasking or attention errors. Methodically timing appropriate tasks or restarting interrupted checklists can help to avoid these types of human errors, which frequently contribute to many aviation incidents and accidents. Understanding that attempting to multitask takes additional time and mental resources, and using some of these simple mitigation strategies will help keep your piloting skills more efficient and help keep you and your passengers safe.